Hi, this is Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Thank you so much for joining us today for Live with Annie. As usual, we've started the stream a bit early. This helps us get everything set up and broadcasting properly to our various platforms. You can find a countdown clock on the screen showing how long it will be until we actually go live. While you wait, please connect with us and other viewers in the chat. Let us know where you are from and whether you're a new or longtime viewer. We'll see you live soon! again for joining us for Live with Annie. We are so happy to have you with us today. While you wait for the program to start, we hope you'll enjoy the content playing on screen. There's so much inspiration, so take a moment to tell us what you love in the chat. Don't forget there is a countdown clock on the screen so you know how long until we go live.
Hi, it's Annie again reminding you that we'll be going live with this week's episode shortly. There is a countdown clock on the screen showing how much time is left. You've got just enough time to grab some water or a beverage of your choice and a snack and to connect with us in the chat. We'd love to hear what you've been working on this week. It's Annie, back to remind you that we'll be starting this week's live very shortly. We've got a really fun episode planned for today, and we'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Thank you so much for joining us for Episode 35 of Season 3 of Live with Annie. Today we are showcasing our newly updated pattern, Out to Lunch 2.0, which includes instructions for compact yet roomy bags in two sizes. They are perfect for carrying lunch or using as a purse, and each features a zip-around gusseted closure and sturdy base. Stay tuned to see all the features of our Out to Lunch 2.0 and discover tips for making your own. If you enjoy these episodes, please take a minute to follow us wherever you are watching. And if you know someone else who you think might enjoy the information that we share, we'd love it if you'd tell them about Live with Annie too. The easiest way to do that is to just tag them while you're watching. That will take them directly to the episode so they can watch it too. Also, we love reading your comments, so please be sure to interact with us throughout this presentation. Tell us what you think about what we're showing, share your tips and tricks, and tell us the projects you are working on. We want to know what you think, and we love learning from you, too. Be sure to add any questions or comments you might have in the comments or chat, and we'll do our best to answer them before we close. 
I am in Norway this week, so we've pre-recorded this episode, but the rest of the Biani team is here to answer any questions that you might have. Remember, too, that you can also email us at info at if you have any questions about this new pattern or any other Biani pattern or product. Last week, we introduced our Diddy Bags 2.0 pattern, which includes instructions for handy zippered bags in three sizes. They are quick and easy to make and great for gifts. If you missed that episode or want to watch it again, remember that you can find all the previous 135 episodes of Live with Annie on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or at byannie.com. We'll put up all the links to make them easy for you to find. So as we said, today we are showcasing our newly updated pattern, Out to Lunch 2.0 which includes instructions for compact yet roomy bags in two sizes. Each of the bags features a zip around gusseted closure and a sturdy base. There's a base stabilizer that you can press down into the bottom to make it strong and secure. Outer slip pockets and interior mesh pockets can hold an ice pack. I've got this one all packed for lunch, so we've got an ice pack in here, napkins and utensils, a thermos, and all the makings for a hearty lunch. By any soft and stable gives really great stability to the bags and provides insulation for the contents. It also ensures that the bag is going to look great after repeated use and laundering. So this is the large out to lunch, packed with everything for lunch, and the small one so you can see just what the inside looks without anything in it. It's one thing that we discovered after we finished filming all the videos for these is that the bags are also perfect for storing an iron at home or for taking it to class. So the small bag will hold your little mini iron, such as the Oliso Mini, and you can just slip the cord right into one of the mesh pockets on the side. There's still room in here for a small bottle of Best Press or other items that you want to carry along with your iron. Can you see that in there okay? I've even got room for my manual in the side. And then the large will fit many of your standard home irons, including the large Oliso. So I've got that, plus my manual, plus my bottle for water. It's a little bit of a tight fit. I had to put it in, um, turning it a little bit slightly, but there's plenty of room and it will be easy to carry it to class. So just know that irons come in lots of different sizes, so be sure to measure your particular iron before you make the bag. So we're going to start today by playing the an introduction and a closer look videos for Out to Lunch 2.0. Then I'll be back to give you a closer look at some of the bags we've made and talk about how they compare to some of our other bags. Hi, I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. I cannot wait to tell you about our pattern Out to Lunch 2.0, which includes instructions for compact yet roomy bags in two sizes. These stylish bags open from side to side, giving full access to a spacious interior. Panels on each side prevent contents from spilling out when the zipper is fully open, and multiple pockets inside and out make organization easy. They are perfect for carrying lunch to work or school, or they make a great small purse for running around town. Out to Lunch 2.0 is constructed of fabric stabilized with soft and stable, so the bags have great body and stability and really stand up and hold their shape. The soft and stable also provides insulation if you're using the bag to carry lunch. Slip pockets on the exterior front and back are perfect for quick access to a phone, keys, shopping list, and more. Inside are additional pockets. On one side is a slip pocket made of mesh which is divided into two sections. It's perfect for an ice pack, utensils, napkins, condiments, or personal items. 
On the other side is a full-height zippered pocket also made of mesh for larger items. Out to Lunch 2.0 has sturdy handles on the front and back for easy carrying. Triangle rings attached to each handle may be used to attach an adjustable strap for hands-free carrying. Check out our free carrying strap and pad pattern if you'd like to make a strap for your bag. We'd recommend making the one-inch strap. You or someone you love is sure to appreciate these versatile and stylish bags. Flo carries her lunch to work every day and really needed a new lunch bag. Of course, she wanted to make one, so she took a look at existing Biani patterns. She loved the design of Out to Lunch, but really wanted something larger. So, we updated the pattern and added a larger size. The small is perfect for a light lunch, but the large will hold bigger containers as well as her water bottle. If you don't need a lunch bag, either size of Out to Lunch 2.0 would make a great small purse. They'd be perfect for running around town or even a night out. Parents will appreciate a large Out to Lunch 2.0 to use as a small diaper bag. It's perfect for taking baby out to lunch. The inner mesh pockets will hold a couple of diapers, wipes, a change of clothes, and there's still room for a bottle, book, and more. The ability to open the bag and see everything inside also makes either Out to Lunch bag perfect for carrying a project in process. There are so many ways to use these handy bags, so choose fabrics and a size to suit your needs. The Out to Lunch 2.0 pattern includes step-by-step -step instructions to make these professionally finished bags in both sizes and is an update of the original Out to Lunch pattern, which was first released in 2016. In addition to improving the illustrations, we added a second size, updated the instructions to make assembly easier, improved the process of attaching the side panels to each side, and added hardware to the handles which gives the option of attaching a carrying strap. You will love this new version. We also filmed an add-on video to help you with the more unique or challenging aspects of the pattern you'll find bullets in the pattern indicating steps that are covered. Note that if you are working with the original Out to Lunch pattern, these videos will be helpful for that too. Ask for Out to Lunch 2.0 at your local quilt shop or find it at byani.com. If you have more questions, be sure to watch the A Closer Look video, which gives more info about gathering supplies and customizing the project. Hi, I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie, and I'd like to give you a little more information about our pattern Out to Lunch 2.0. This pattern includes instructions for making compact yet roomy zippered bags in two sizes. The body of each bag is made with a front and a back, which are joined by a zipper strip. That combined piece is then attached to a separate base to complete the bag. This produces a strong and sturdy bag with lots of easy to access space inside. The Out to Lunch 2.0 pattern recommends three fabrics for each project. A main fabric, which is used for the exterior of the bag front and back, the front and back pockets, the base, and the zipper strips. A lining fabric used for the interior of those pieces, and a coordinating fabric used for the bindings, handles, side panels, stabilizer sleeve, and zipper pulls. Of course, if you prefer to mix things up, add more fabrics, or even use just one fabric, you can certainly do that. Just know that you'll need to come up with your own cutting layouts, and you may need different amounts of fabric than what is called for on the supply list. Directional fabrics will work fine for this project, and the pattern includes tips for their use. You will need to put some careful thought into cutting pieces if you are using fabrics with predominant motifs. Because of the way the bag is designed, most of the bag front and back are covered by the front and back pockets. So for this fun set of bags, we used a more solid coordinating print for the bag front, back, base, and zipper strips, and fussy cut the hero fabric for just the front and back pockets. 
As always, we recommend that you make at least one bag using non-directional designs before making a bag using your more precious fabrics. That way you'll have a better idea of how everything comes together and what you'll need to consider when cutting. You will find a full list of supplies on the back cover of the Out to Lunch 2.0 pattern. If you don't yet have the pattern, you can also find the list on the Out to Lunch 2.0 product page at byani.com. Just click on the Supply List tab. You can achieve a variety of looks for Out to Lunch 2.0 just by varying the fabrics used. We made this set of bags just as the pattern directs, using just one main and one lining fabric for the body and pockets of each bag, with a coordinating fabric for the handles and bindings. These bright cherry bags are sure to brighten any lunchroom. We used more masculine fabrics for this set. They're perfect for carrying lunch or personal items to the office, school, and more. We quilted two coordinating fabrics together to make this fun set of Out to Lunch 2.0 bags. For the small, we used the colorful dot print as the main fabric and the more subdued blue print as the lining. We reversed that order for the large, using the blue print as the main and the multicolored dots as the lining. It's fun to see how fabric placement can totally change the look of a bag. We used a variety of fabrics left over from another project to make this striking set of bags. We had just enough of the black-gray words to make the front, back, zipper strips, and base of the small bag. To liven things up, we used a colorful graffiti print for the front and back pockets and a more solid coordinating print for the handles and bindings. For the large bag, we used that more solid coordinating print as the main for the body and pockets with the colorful graffiti print for the lining of the bag, as well as the handles and pocket bindings. Again, the same fabrics can produce a very different finished bag by just varying their placement. The Out to Lunch 2.0 bags would make a great weekend sewing project for intermediate to more advanced makers. The project involves basic skills used in many Biani patterns, though its design also requires some deviation from our usual methods. To help ensure success, we've filmed an add-on video for Out to Lunch 2.0. It will help you conceptualize the project and take you through the more challenging or unique parts of the pattern, including installing the zipper and side panels, joining the front and back to the zipper strips and binding them, and attaching and binding the base. Just take your time, check off each step as you proceed, and enjoy the process. Before you know it, you'll have a great Out to Lunch 2.0 bag to carry lunch or your daily needs. We can't wait to see what you make and how you use these functional bags, so be sure to share pictures of your finished projects with us. Find us on Facebook, Instagram. I hope you enjoyed learning more about Out to Lunch 2.0 and that you're excited to make your own. As you can see, we used a lot of fun fabrics for the bags that we made. On this set, we used Tula's fabric and we alternated the, the main and the lining to give it a different look and used two very different fabrics for this one. If you'd like to get more information about the fabrics that we used in the models that we showed in the videos, be sure to watch the very end of the A Closer Look video. We didn't show that on screen today. Jake will put up all the links so that you can get there easily. Before we close, I want to show you how Out to Lunch 2.0 compares to other Biani lunch bag and purse patterns. So we're going to start by taking a look at our pattern, grab some grub, which is the first one that we designed for carrying lunch, and compare it to the, um, the new Out to Lunch bag. So Grab Some Grub is made um, quite a bit differently, but it's got a lot of room in there for larger items. So one question that we're often asked is, will it fit those big lunch cubes, the Rubbermaid cubes? And this is not the tallest one, but you can see by the time you get these stacked, that it would hold a pretty good size one. You can put your drink of water in here. There's a mesh pocket at the back to put your um, ice block. And when this is empty, it folds flat for storage. 
So quite a bit of room for a nice hearty lunch you've got in that back pocket. You could put your utensils, your ice pack, your napkins, all of those things in there. You can see there's still room at the top for a few other sm small items. All right, so that's grab some grub. And out to lunch, as we showed earlier, holds quite a bit in the large. The smaller one, I think I've got this one over here packed as a smaller lunch bag. Um, so here it is with a bottle of water and a couple of small containers. And then again, you've still got the pockets for your utensils, your napkins, and your ice pack. It would also make a great little diaper bag, and that's how I've got this one packed. So a baby bottle, diapers, wet wipes, book, extra change of clothes, lots of ways to use this handy bag. If you want to carry it as a purse, um, let me show you how it compares to one of our most popular purse patterns, Bowl Me Over. So as you can see, the shape, move this out of the way, can you see okay? The shape is fairly similar. Bowl Me Over is a bit taller. I would say the width um, is a little bit wider on Bowl Me Over. The depth is more on Out to Lunch. So the construction is different. On Bowl Me Over, you've got a front or a back. That's the back, a front, and then a zipper side strip, which is shaped so that it's narrower at the top, wider at the bottom, and that goes all the way around the bag. There's a stabilizer sleeve in the bottom uh, to make it stand open, and on the inside you've got a full mesh pocket on one side, a, a gathered fabric pocket on the other side, and then a slip pocket on the front, and a zippered pocket on the back. So Bowl Me Over has, or um, that's Bowl Me Over. Out to Lunch has very similar pockets on the inside, a full height zippered pocket on one side, mesh pockets on the other, a removable stabilizer sleeve, and full height pockets on the front and back. This has short grab handles. You can make this with grab handles. You can also attach a carrying strap to D-rings on each side, and you could do the same thing with um, out, out to lunch. We did not attach, or we did not include a carrying strap in the pattern, but it would be easy to use our free pattern carrying strap and pad to just make a handle that you could clip on there and use that to carry your items. So a little bit perhaps easier to access the interior here, a little wider. Um, we've got gussets on the sides so nothing falls out. Uh, this one, the zipper only goes part way down. This one, the zipper goes much further down. And then the small one um, has all those same features. It's just a little bit smaller bag. So I hope you enjoyed learning more about Out to Lunch, and we can't wait to see what you make. So be sure to share photos of your projects with us and enter our monthly photo contest. You can win up to 50 bucks, and we award several prizes each month. You'll get all the details at our website by just clicking on the Photo Contest Gallery link that's on the top menu bar. And as always, please ask for these patterns and supplies to make them at your local quilt shop. They're such an important part of our sewing and quilting communities. It's up to all of us to keep them strong and vibrant. And remember, if they don't have the products, they can certainly get them, either from their favorite distributor or directly from us. We're always happy to set up wholesale accounts for qualified stores, so just ask them to contact us for more information. Move some of this out of the way, clean up my table a little bit. And before we move on to our featured local quilt shop of the week, I want to let you know about a special episode of Live with Annie that's coming up on December 6th. So next week, I will be back and we will be introducing our new payday wallet pattern that makes wallet purses in two sides. Either of those sizes can be carried as a clutch, and it's always nice to have a wristlet strap for extra security when carrying a bag that way. Since that will be our last Live with Annie for the year, we thought it would be fun to end with a sew along for our free wristlet strap pattern, which includes instructions for handy straps in two versions. 
The straps can be attached to a clutch or used independently to hold a ring of keys or other items. It's a downloadable pattern, so go to Biani.com and download it soon. And once you have the pattern, gather the supplies listed in the pattern, which are minimal, and then follow the instructions in step one to cut the fabric and interfacing for the strap of your choice. Then join us on December 6th to make the wristlet strap in either version during Live with Annie. They're quick and easy to make and would make a great last minute gift for anyone on your list. All right, it's time now for our featured local quilt shop of the week. First, I have to have a quick drink though. At Biani, we are all about supporting local quilt shops and one of our favorite events each year is the local quilt shop contest, which we celebrate in February. During that contest, we encourage you to vote for your favorite local quilt shop and share a little bit about what makes them so special. And then to continue the support throughout the year, each week we highlight a store or more and some of their voter submissions during Live with Annie. We're going to start today at Nano Creative in Druten, the Netherlands, the regional winner for that country in this year's contest. Store owner Rihanna Nota tells us, Ever since I was a little girl, I've been extremely happy when I can play with fabrics. I bet a lot of us can relate to that. The sewing machine has been my friend since I was little, and I've watched my mom sewing our clothes. I got my own sewing machine when I was 10 years old and I started making my own clothes. However, I didn't start my working life in the creative business and was trained as a nurse instead. When my eldest daughter was born, I became a stay-at-home mom, and besides making clothes, I also started quilting. When my youngest daughter was almost four years old, I started a new career in the sewing machine business, first as an educator, later in sales and in management. My love for fabrics and sewing machines has always been an important part of my life. I'm married to Nod, who is my best friend already for 40 years, and I have two grown-up daughters, Minky, who lives in Ireland, and Bautka, who, lives, who works in my store together with me. And I'm a, grand, a proud grandma of four. I started my store four years ago after my career in the sewing machine business ended, and I finally decided to do what I loved most. I started with an online store and organizing classes as I love to share knowledge. I never intended to have a brick and mortar store, but customers kept asking if they could visit. So now we have both a brick and mortar online and an online store, and I love it. And we've recently moved into a new larger location, which is especially exciting. There's not much time anymore for teaching, but I can advise customers and help them pick the perfect fabric combinations for their project. In October 2020, I hired my daughter, Bautka, to help me with the increased number of customers and orders. She is officially a staff member, but it always feels that it's our store. She has the ambition to take over the store in the future. My husband, Node, is also active in our store. He does the main part of the sewing machine repairs and helps us with the web shop orders. Our fabric selection is mainly modern quilt fabrics. Besides that, we have a wide range of Notions and Janome sewing machines. Customers who voted for Nano Creative in this year's contest raved about the store's friendly, helpful, and professional service. Elsbeth wrote, Nano Creative is the quilt shop for the modern quilter and bag maker. They have every notion you could want and add more regularly. Their shop is bursting at the seams with all their fabrics. The owner is very friendly and helpful. Going in or phoning is like speaking to a friend. She will do anything to help. And Jeanette said, this is the perfect little online shop for me. I live in the north of the Netherlands, and the shop is more in the south. I visited the shop while on holiday. Rihanna is a lovely, friendly lady, and her shop is packed with the good stuff. Also things from the U.S. that are not widely available in the Netherlands. I ordered lots of fabrics for making project bags and zipper pouches, and the Biani zippers from her shop. Order today, and mostly shipped the same day, unless it's a Sunday. And Rolinda added, they are super nice people, but also have the most beautiful modern fabrics. 
It's a two-hour drive for me, but I go there with great pleasure. I also love their fat quarter clubs. And Karen wrote, Rihanna goes above and beyond to make sure you get the right combinations. I can send her an email explaining the pattern in my vision, and Rihanna can find the perfect fabrics every time. When asked about the impact of the LQS contest on the store, Rihanna wrote, The local quilt shop contest brought a lot of positive vibe to our store, and with the prize we won, we added new products from the Biani range to our assortment. I loved reading all those comments and learning more about Nano Creative. I hope I can get there in person one day soon. Next, we are going to travel to Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada to visit the Fabric Snob, this year's regional winner for that province. Owner Lindsay Nicole was raised on the rural prairies, and that is where the Fabric Snob began. She has always loved crafting and making of all sorts. She is also a registered veterinary technician and has a passion for animals. She is a wife and mother and also loves traveling, gardening, reading, and board games. Currently, Lindsay says she is very into paint by number and gem painting while watching TV. The Fabric Snob started in Lindsay's basement almost 10 years ago. What started as a journey to provide stylish cloth diaper fabrics to Canadians has bloomed into what it is today. She's moved from her basement to a retail space in the small rural town of Riverton and then to a large retail space in the big city. Lindsay says, our goal is to get high quality on-trend fabrics into the hands of as many people as possible. Our store is 4,200 square feet of warehouse and retail space. Our retail space for shopping is about a quarter of that with a classroom for learning and growing. We have large windows with lots of natural light and an industrial feel to our decor. I love florals, so you will always find them incorporated somewhere. We want our space to feel bright, airy, and colorful. We specialize in high-quality knit fabrics, but also have quilting cottons, flannel, fleece, minky, linen, notions, and locally handcrafted items. We also offer large format, A format AO printing services in full color or black and white. The Fabric Snob celebrated their two-year anniversary of their Winnipeg store in June, and they will be launching in-person classes again very shortly. Customers who voted for the Fabric Snob in this year's contest praised the store's service, selection, and prices. Helen wrote, they have a great selection of sewing and quilting fabrics and supplies with super sales. I have only ordered online since they are out of my province and they have set my orders in a timely fashion and the staff have been a treat to deal with. Excuse me. Wendy added, the fabric snob has the best fabrics. Prices are not low, but they are fair and you will find all the best fabrics available for day-to-day -day clothing. And Karen said, excellent service, willing to help with color matching and different fabric lines that will work together. I discovered them online during COVID lockdown and have shopped online with them ever since. I am disabled and getting out to shop is very difficult. The fabric snob is as close as my computer and telephone. Although I haven't met the staff in person, they have been extremely helpful and always willing to do their best to meet my needs. When asked about the impact of the LQS contest on the store, Lindsay said, This has been so important for visibility for us, especially as a small business that is still trying to find its way in the world. It means so much to us that people voted for us. I'm so glad to hear that the contest was helpful to your store, Lindsay, and wish you continued success. Best wishes from all of us at Biani. Thank you again to everyone who joined us today. We will be back next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time with another inspiring episode of Live with Annie when I'll be back in person to introduce the final two brand new patterns, Payday and So Simple Wallet. Payday makes wallet purses in two sizes, and So Simple Wallet makes really quick and easy wallets in three versions. You will love how simple these projects are to make and how many pockets they have, so mark your calendar now to join us then. 
and until then, happy stitching!